So I'm, as I'm scrolling down on the institutional ownership of AMC, I stumbled upon something which I need to share with you guys, okay? So we had a great day, that's good, but it seems like Citadel is now buying AMC shares. Yeah, I mean, you heard it correctly. I'm not kidding. I, I mean, I... <laughs> What's happening, guys? What is happening? So let's jump on Fintel, okay? Fintel, institutional ownership. Um, this is as of today, and you can see that the institutional ownership of AMC is growing. I mean, last week we were deep down. We're here down maybe, what, 24%. So it's now up to 27%. And I was expecting there are a lot more big money, smart money getting into AMC. So you already know that it's obvious. Now, what is interesting and what I found is that you have all of these, you know, capital management, investment management, a mutual fund buying, and then you have down here in the middle as 2021, May 17. So today they filed Citadel Advisors LLC. You know, they had an average cost of $6.17, you know, with 724,000 shares. This is, you know, this is a buy, okay? This is a buy. Now, when you click here, it leads you to this page. Citadel Advisors LLC, manager Ken Griffin. We all know who that is, okay? And then portfolio value, $408 billion. They have actually 13,000 current positions and only five opened positions, okay? So that is interesting because Citadel buying um, 725,000 shares? doesn't sound right, right? Because they are the biggest short. They're the biggest, I mean, the, the hedges with the biggest short position in the MC stock. So why the heck would they buy MC? Well, two, 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 two possible explanations, okay? Hear me out. First, they're covering. They covered because, you know, they find out, I mean, they realize that the, the, with the share price constantly going up for seven straight days, guys, we've been continuously going up. Now, it means, the further AMC goes up, you know, the harder it is for the shorts to keep the positions open because it costs a lot more money, especially when you have like 7% days like this on a daily basis, all right? So maybe they're covering, but I'm not sure about that because I don't think when you do cover, you have to file a 13F to the SEC, okay? Because you, I mean, you're just closing a position, a short position. So if that is not the case, which I think it's not, then you're buying. So why would you buy when you're shorting? It means you're playing both sides. Well, when I do trade stocks, okay, if my initial strategy was to buy and um, the price continues to go down and after doing my initial research, you know, additional research, I find out that my strategy wasn't the right one and I'm getting crushed here. What do I do? Okay, I switch. I turn around because I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose money, so I will short the stock even though my initial strategy was to buy. Why? Because it turns out the market direction is against me. So instead of losing a billion dollar or a thousand dollar in my case, you know, I would try to limit the, 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 the damages and in, if I can have, you know, a balance by shorting and buying, you know, I can limit that, you know, loss to maybe 500 to maybe $700. So in the case of the hedges, like see the little here, it, it, it would not surprise me if they are playing both sides because, I mean, the, the price is continually going up and up and up and the smart money and big money is coming back into AMC. So, guys, this is pure speculation on my end. I need to do additional research, but from, from what it looks like here, it seems pretty clear to me that the hedges are playing, are playing both sides and this is good news for us. This is good news because either option, it means they are now realizing that, hey, this thing might not be what we strategize or, you know, planned to begin with. So maybe we need to start and get out, which is what we want, right? So 